This is a review of the Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro. This is the four terabyte version, but it also comes in one, two, and three terabytes. The four terabyte is currently $199 on Amazon with three stars, which are about three more stars than I would give this product. Uh, so before I begin, overall, I would not recommend this product. If you're looking for a wireless hard drive, don't buy this one. Look for another one. Before I get into the actual review, I'm going to give you a little bit of background on myself and why I wanted this product and my uses for it. I'm a college student and I do photography as a hobby and I have a lot of photos I need to store. And my MacBook's hard drive just didn't cut it for, for my storage needs. So I, got, so I got this wireless hard drive. And I wanted a wireless one because I like doing a lot of my work on my laptop on my bed. But I've always worried about the cable getting bumped or loose um, and my files getting corrupted or something. So that's why I wanted a wireless one. I chose this one in particular because I know the brand Western Digital. I have some of their other products. I'm comfortable with their company. And the reviews on this product were fine. Nothing glaringly wrong about them. And it has this nice feature, this SD card slot reader that I'll get more into later. Starting off with the features of this product, um, it has built-in Wi-Fi, uh, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz with five gigahertz theoretically giving you faster transfer speeds at a slightly limited range. Uh, Western Digital has a interface for both Mac and Windows, but I only have a MacBook, so I'm just gonna be talking about the Mac side of that. Another feature is called Wi-Fi pass-through. So the way it works is your computer connects to the built-in Wi-Fi on the hard drive, and your hard drive connect to your, connects to your home network Wi-Fi, which allows your computer to connect to your home network Wi-Fi indirectly through this hard drive. So you can still use the internet while transferring files. And the last feature is this SD card slot reader that I decided to talk about. The way it works is you put your SD card in there and the hard drive creates a new folder for everything on that SD card and it transfers over all those files. And it has, and it has these four indicator lights here at the top that tell you the progress of that transfer, which is really nice. But now, now onto the actual performance of this hard drive. I'm gonna start with the good. So when you buy it, it comes with this cable that has USB-B on one end and USB-A on the other. And these can connect to your, connect to your hard drive to your computer wired. That way, this hard drive works as any other hard drive. It has USB 3.0, has the five gigabit per second transfer speeds. And you can use it like that. And that's about all the good there is to this hard drive. That's the way I currently use it. But if you're looking for a wireless hard drive, you probably want to know the wireless performance of this. So I'll get into that now. When I first got it, I downloaded the required software I needed on my Mac and I set it up. Connecting was fine. It took me a couple of tries, but I was able to do it. Connecting to my Wi-Fi was also fine. The, speed the speeds were fine for my use. Uh, I, don't remember the, I don't remember the exact um, megabits that I was getting, but they were fine. My first problem with this was the transfer speeds of my files. Yeah. When I was first loading on my files, it took forever. The transfer speeds were atrocious. But in all practical terms, in all real world terms, it was unusable. Uh, I would not, I would not and do not use this for its wireless functionalities anymore at all. And once I had my files on this hard drive already that I transferred with a cable, just getting those files to load on my computer was horrible. And I'd see the hard drive folder on my desktop and when I opened it up, there was nothing there. It took maybe 10 to 15 minutes to just get the files to appear and to be able to work with them. This isn't transfer speeds. This is just the hard drive loading the files so that my computer can see them and that I can actually interact with them. My final issue, which was the nail in the coffin for me, was the overheating of this device. Now, it was never a problem with ventilation or anything. I had it on my desk in an open area, well ventilated. But after about 10 or 20 minutes of transferring files and using the hard drive, I'd get a warning that the device was too hot. Now, once I got that temperature warning, anything that I was doing would just stop. The hard drive would shut down on its own and wouldn't turn on until it got to a usable temperature. And I did feel it and it was hot, and, but there was really nothing that I could do about it. Uh, I had it well ventilated, save from putting it on a block of ice. There was nothing I could do. And it wasn't the fault of the device itself. I, talked to Western Digital, I ended up returning it through Amazon and I got an identical one. And the one that I got back had the same device temperature issues. So with that, uh, that's for now. See ya.